Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make, ah, it's a classic, everybody loves it, lollipops. It's the thing you steal from babies. I mean, that's at least how, that's what Mr. Burns did. It doesn't matter. Anyway, lollipops are super easy to make and really delicious. And today I am making sort of a like fancy, elegant version with honey and lavender because I just love that combination. However, you can use any flavor you want. You really can play around with it. The key is you just infuse the syrup with whatever flavor you wanna use. Additionally, you can add about up to like a quarter cup of sort of concentrated fruit juice. So if you wanted to do strawberries, you could just cook some strawberries until you get about a quarter cup of juice, that kind of thing. So have fun with it, play around, but today, lavender honey is the name of the game. So to make this, I have a cup of sugar, quarter cup of honey. If you didn't want to use honey, you can use corn syrup, but I love the flavor of honey here. A quarter cup of water, a teaspoon of dried culinary lavender, it has to be culinary. I mean, do not be the person that buys potpourri and puts it in lollipops. No one will want your lollipops. Um, and then, just because I'm being a fancy lady today, I have 24 karat gold. This is like my favorite thing to put on top of dessert because it just, it's so stupid of me. It's very 80s, but like, I just think it looks really fancy immediately. And uh, to make the rest of it, I have a jelly roll pan filled with powdered sugar. You don't have to do this part, but I like it because then you basically create little molds that give the lollipops really nice shapes. You could also just use a sill pad, so a silicone pad, that you just pour directly onto and you end up getting more amorphous shapes, but it comes right off the sill pad. I then have my lollipop sticks. I just bought these online. And then I have this cup because it just has a small bottom to it. Uh, so this is what I'm using to make my little indentations. All right, so let's get started with making the syrup. It's pretty simple. I basically combine all of the ingredients and cook it until it hits about 305 degrees. And then I strain it and wait for my lollipops to set. All right, well, let's get started. So to make the syrup, I'm just gonna combine the sugar, the water, the honey, and then the lavender. I'm gonna put it over like medium low heat gonna give it one good stir. And I'm gonna wait until this hits about 300, 305 degrees. So here's the thing. You wanna keep an eye on this because 305 degrees is actually very hot, but you also don't wanna turn it up very hot because the first time I did this, I wanted it to go a little faster and I ended up burning everything. It was a complete disaster. It just like did not function. So you actually need to do this a little bit slowly in order not to burn the sugar. All right, so while that's happening, I'm gonna get going on making my molds. So I have my glass right here and it's really simple. You just put it directly into the powdered sugar, twist it, and then that's it, you lift it up. And I leave about like a half inch of room just to make sure that, you know, it's not gonna bump together too much. So I'm gonna take my stick and I'm gonna press it into the center of the indentation, just like that. My candy has gone up to about 300 degrees, 305 degrees, so I'm gonna strain it. And this is, I have to kind of work quickly because I actually don't want this to cool because I still wanna be able to pour it really easily. I'm just doing this because pouring it through a strainer into there is like a little crazy. Additionally, if I wanted to skip this step, I could always infuse the honey with lavender ahead of time. Just by doing the same thing, you just heat up the honey, throw lavender in, strain it, and you're all done. Okay, that's good enough. So now I'm gonna pour into those little divots that I made and then quickly add a little bit of gold. So the final moment is adding a tiny bit of gold because can't have fancy lollipops without somehow gold being involved. So it's been about 20, 25 minutes, so I'm gonna start taking some of the lollipops out. And you can see, it's so cute. The only thing is that on one side, the powdered sugar sticks to it, but you can either dust it off and just have like a little bit, or if you want, you can also wash it. Like I just would dunk this under the sink for a second and then it gets completely clear again. All right, so this one I've completely washed off so you can see there's no powdered sugar on it. So it's clear, it's beautiful, it is ready to eat. All right, moment of truth. That is delicious. 
I love this so much because the honey really comes through. Lavender's subtle, so it doesn't taste like you're eating a bar of soap. It just is there, it's so good. But I love this, it's so easy. Please post in the comments what flavors you plan on doing because I think this is so much fun. You can really play around with it. And I don't know, I just love how it looks, especially with the gold, it's very fancy. All right, well, thank you so much, guys. Please comment, like below, let me know what you think. And once again, you can always find these recipes on thekitchenkitchen.com. And I'll talk to you guys later, bye.